Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi here on YouTube. And today I have a Costco Keto Grocery Haul for 2021. This is June, 2021. And let me tell you guys, it is hot as outside. It is crazy. Right now we are on a heat wave warning. Um, I live in Fresno, California, which is right in the middle of California. We call it the Central Valley. And yeah, it's freaking hot outside. I did not even bother putting makeup on for you guys, sorry. Didn't even bother like straightening my hair today because it's just way too hot and I have my air conditioner on and it's still way too hot. Okay, so I wanted to go to Costco originally just to pick up one item because the one item I wanted is insanely overpriced on Amazon right now. Um, and I know it's always cheaper just to get it at Costco. But the reason why I try to avoid going to Costco is because I spend way too much money. And in fact, I spent way too much money. This grocery haul is a $200 grocery haul and pretty much any new item I saw that said keto on it, like I picked it up, unfortunately. Like I, they got me, like every single item that said keto, I'm like, bam, throwing it in the cart, throw it in the cart. I did stock up on some things, especially that one particular item that I wanted to get that Amazon's overcharging um, because I knew I didn't wanna go back to Costco for a while, especially after today, uh, just seeing the price. Anyhow, so let's get started with the melty stuff first because uh, I need to put it back in the freezer. The keto ice creams, obviously people have heard of this before. I have never tried it. Um, actually my Costco, the last time I went there, oh gosh, when was it? Maybe in the fall time, um, they did not have this and everyone was raving about it. So here I am picking it up. Um, so this is sea salt caramel and it's called keto pint. Um, I don't know what that means, but these are two grams of net carbs. Um, so there's 12 bars in a box and they're 180 calories. Yeah, we only care about net carbs right now. So if you're curious, it's 12 total carbs. It's two net carbs. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these. Another melty thing I got are these egg witches. Um, never heard of these before. I have heard of this brand. I know they make like burritos and stuff. I've seen it at Sprouts. Um, I picked it up. It was very popular. I saw a lot of people picking them up. Um, so I'm interested to try this and it's basically, they make the bun out of an egg, there's cheese and there's a turkey patty. Um, I imagine my son will probably eat these too because why not? It's got sausage and egg and cheese, it's favorites. Um, well, turkey's not his favorite, but anyhow, I know he'll still eat these. Um, so these have three grams of total carbohydrates. There is no fiber in it um, with 17 grams of protein. Um, I didn't really look at the ingredients, guys, so there might be crap in some of these items. I don't really care. I just cared about the carbohydrates, the net carbs. So let me put these back in the freezer and we will carry on with this haul. Okay, and just if you guys were curious about those things, so the ice cream bars were, were $11.99, so about a dollar a bar. It's not too bad, I guess. Um, and I believe the sandwiches were $12.99. So now I'm gonna move on to the next um, like refrigerated products, which is going to be the meat and cheese stuff. So I picked up the Kirkland smoke pulled pork. I have not had this in a long time and I really loved it. Every time I went to Costco before, I would always pick this up or the Chile Verde if they had that too. Um, and this does last a couple meals. My son will eat it usually the first day that I warm it up. Um, it's already cooked, but when I first warm it up, he'll eat it like that first night and then he won't touch it. So I pretty much end up eating this entire packet myself. This is zero carbohydrates for serving. Next, I got my Greenwich Farms beef sticks. I love these things. They're so darn good. Um, on my lazy days for work lunches, I just bring salami and cheese. And so now I'll bring this, one of these usually, and then some hard boiled eggs. Um, that's a great lunch. They call it a snack, but I eat it for lunch. The other thing I got was the Teton grass-fed. These are Polish sausages, and this is also a three pack, so there's 12 in here. And I think, so these were $14.89. The Green Ridge beef sticks, I think these were like $13, uh, $13.59 for these. 
So yeah, you're looking at like 13 to $14 for these packaged meats, sausages. But um, I really like these ones, especially for a quick dinner. When I'm tired and come home from work, I'll eat like one or two of these. Um, they're 200 calories for one, and they are just under one carbohydrate. Uh, in case you're curious about the bee sticks, these are 110 calories for one and zero carbohydrates. Then I picked up this antipasto. I don't know how you say it, but it's like a little meat variety. And this one has um, prosciutto, it has Italian dry salami. It says black pepper coated Italian dry salami and dry copa. I don't know if I'm saying the names right. Um, and yeah, so there are two identical packages. I didn't even realize that, but I love, love um, prosciutto and I love to eat it with goat cheese. I don't have any goat cheese right now, but that's my favorite thing to eat it with. Um, so these are great for my lunches too. Um, I usually take like maybe like four or five ounces of the meats with me. I just picked up some Tillamook cheese. I probably could have just gone to the grocery outlet and got some cheese. This is like already sliced cheeses. Um, I just like it that way for my son. It makes it easy for a lot of, he likes ham and cheese sandwiches. He makes that almost every day for lunch. So he likes cheese slices. And um, also it helps me a little bit better with my portion control. If I just like eat a slice rather than having the block of cheese and just chopping off big old chunks. So a little bit more better portion control there so I can keep track of how many carbs, fats, whatever, protein that I'm eating. Although I'm not really into um, calorie counting right now. Um, I believe this was $7.99. Uh, sorry, this was $10.49. Uh, next up was my Manchego cheese. I have talked about this in my other Costco grocery hauls. This is my favorite cheese in the world. It's a Spanish uh, sheep's milk cheese. And if you haven't tried it, it is so amazing. I mean, it has like a little bit of a, not really tart, I guess. It's kind of pungent, I guess is the only way to describe it, but it's delicious. I love it. Um, it's a little bit softer flavor and not so pungent as some of the other cheeses I've tried. If that makes any sense at all, it probably doesn't. Um, but I usually will snack on this or like with the beef stick, I will take a couple ounces of cheese with beef stick for lunch. Um, and the Manchego cheese was $14.69. And this is for 1.73 pounds of cheese. Um, the next thing is some organic Kirkland um, chunky guacamole. Um, I do like the guacamole cups. They're easy. Uh, it's an easy way to get a little bit more avocado in. I just like the flavor. I'll use it with pork rinds. Um, a hamburger patty. I'll like just dump a little cup on top of a hamburger patty. Guacamole was kind of expensive, $15.99, but I think I pay like $5 for like the little four cups, I think, in the store, so it's a better deal. So I'm gonna put all the refrigerated items back in the refrigerator, and I'll be back to show you the uh, non-refrigerated items. I imagine that these groceries are probably going to last me two weeks, maybe a little bit over two weeks. Some of the items that you're going to see are definitely gonna last longer than two weeks, like the ice cream, especially because I'm doing alternate day fasting. I'm obviously not eating every day, so I'm not gonna have an ice cream bar every day. Um, so some items will probably last me like three weeks or so. And some things I did not pick up. I don't even know why. I missed grabbing eggs today, so I'm gonna have to go back to the store today um, and pick up some eggs. I definitely wanna do it before five o'clock. For some reason here in the Valley, the hottest time of the day for us is like after 4 p.m. Between like four and 6 p.m. is miserable. So if you have errands to run, you definitely wanna do it before that time. So as soon as I'm done recording this, I'm probably gonna run to Target and pick up a few more things. So now for the fun part. The main reason why I went to Costco was to pick up the coconut clusters. Um, if you have not tried these yet, you are totally missing out because these are amazing. Um, they can be addicting though, so you gotta be careful with them. This is eight total carbohydrates with three dietary grams of fibers and there's one sugar alcohols for, so it's four net carbs per serving. Um, and it's not very much, it's only one ounce as a serving. I typically will measure this out and put it over my two good yogurts just cause I like crunch on my yogurt. So I'll usually eat this with my yogurt, especially when it starts getting down to the bottom of the bag and there's just like more crumbs rather than clusters. I definitely use those crumbs as like the topping on my yogurts. 
the reason why I spent $200 was because I stocked up on these. I bought three of them and these are $9.99 each. Amazon, those sellers, shame on you, highway robbery. Um, Amazon is charging anywhere between $32 to $36 for two bags. So yeah, that's a rip off when they're $10 a piece at Costco. Don't buy these off Amazon. Um, it's actually even better if you went to costco.com to buy them and only pay $5 for shipping. You're still saving a lot of money if you buy them that way. That is actually what I have been doing the last two months to avoid going to Costco and overspending is I've just been ordering these through costco.com, usually two packages at a time. Um, the other thing is I have heard of this, but never got it. The, the same brand, Inno Foods, it's called. They have these keto crackers and never have tried them. And these crackers are made with pumpkin seeds, coconut, sunflower seeds, almonds, and hemp seeds. And there is seven total carbohydrates with two dietary fiber, one sugar alcohol. So that's four, it's also four net carbs. I'll be very, very interested to find out how these taste, like if they're really salty, um, cause it doesn't say like sea salt crackers or anything. Um, I don't know if they're kind of sweet because they have the coconut. Um, let me just see if they add anything sweet. Um, yeah, these are gonna be maybe a little bit on the sweeter side because there's erythritol. Um, it says inulin, which is blue agave, coconut butter. Yeah, so I imagine these are gonna be a little bit on the sweet side because it has that erythritol, but we'll see. Um, I just thought that this might be good to um, have like with peanut butter, like if I'm craving peanut butter and I want it on something, then maybe these crackers would be good. Also just as a snack, you know, to take it with my salami or the beef sticks and eggs for my work lunches. So these were $7.99, so a little bit cheaper than the clusters. And I only got one of the crackers and three of those clusters. I picked up some Dukes. Um, I do tend to buy my Dukes from the grocery outlet because I think like, you know, the tiny little bag, let me show you, like Costco just had the plain one, but at Target or wherever, or the grocery outlet, they usually have the flavored ones. So like this one's the hot and spicy one. And um, I wanna say that this was like over $5 and this one is five ounces. Oh, so these are $10.99 and this is 16 ounces. So there's a huge difference. You definitely save more money if you can go to Costco and have the self-control to not overspend. Um, then this is gonna be a better deal. And this is, like I said, just the original. Um, I just love, love snacking on Dukes. Those are my favorite. I've never seen the high key cookies at Costco. This was definitely a bargain as well. I think this is a pound. Oh no. So this is 12 ounces and the, you know, if you were to buy it at Target, um, you get two ounces and these are usually about $4 at Target. So um, six times four, so $24. Like if you were gonna buy 12 ounces of cookies, you would spend $24 and this was only $10.99 at Costco. So definitely a better deal if you can get them at Costco. I think the only danger in having this great big size is like I'm kind of used to having the smaller bags where I eat like half of the bag at one time. Um, this would be hard because you're like just plowing through and you could easily eat like several ounces of cookies. So gotta be careful with that, but at least it's a better value. Next up, the Rowls. Um, I think this was eight or nine dollars. Let's see. Um, ten, sorry, ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine for two. Definitely a bargain because you will spend um, about eight dollars for one jar at Target. That's usually what I have spent on it. If I see it on sale at the grocery outlet, which their sale price for it is usually six dollars, I'll buy it there. Um, but I obviously picked up one of those because that will last me a while. And I actually like having the Rouse, um, not only just to make my keto lasagna, which is my favorite. Um, I make keto lasagna using the, it's kind of like the fathead dough, but it's a little bit different. So it's more like an eggy texture for your pasta. Uh, that's my favorite way to make lasagna. And, um, I usually need one whole jar when I make my lasagna. I also like to have a jar of the marinara sauce for my palmini pasta. I usually buy the linguine. I buy these from Amazon, the palmini 
linguine is my favorite. Um, so that's an, that's also a easy lunch, work lunch for me, is I will use a whole can of that pasta and then dump some rolls with some Parmesan cheese and voila, you have a keto lunch right there. Last on the list is um, Pacific Organic Chicken Bone Broth. Um, I have such a hard time with bone broths. Like I just have not found a good brand that I really, really like out of all the ones that I've tried. And I've done several reviews. If you click this link up here, that'll take you to a review or two. I've done like three of them. And so far Pacific Foods is the only brand that I have been enjoying lately. And so right now when I am coming off of an alternate day fast, um, I usually have coffee as my first meal. I'll have coffee with a bone broth powder mixed into it. And then um, what I've been doing to get myself even through my fasting days is in the evening, if I feel like hunger pangs are just really kicking in and I just wanna quit and I wanna eat, I will serve myself a cup of bone broth. Yes, I know it's not like totally sticking to autophagy and all of that. You know, I'm gonna ruin autophagy if I have bone broth on a fasting day, but um, I really find that those days that I'm super struggling and I feel like I wanna quit, I think that's okay for me to go ahead and have some bone broth. If it's gonna help me stick to compliance for this way of eating, then I'm okay with that. Another reason is what I want to start doing is having the first meal being my coffee with the bone broth powder. And then what I want to do after the coffee is maybe like a couple hours later, I want to have another cup or two of bone broth and then start having um, some fat and some protein at that point. Um, so that's just my plan. Like today, all I've had is the coffee. So I do plan on having some bone broth. Um, it's already 12 o'clock right now, so I'll probably have some bone broth and then maybe in another 30 minutes or an hour, actually I'll probably go to the grocery store. So maybe an hour by the time I get back, um, I'm going to go ahead and eat some hard boiled eggs or something. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this Costco grocery haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And when you do, don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that'll notify you every time that I've uploaded a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.